guys, it's Clancy, and today I'm going to be talking about the scariest things I have done for my job. As you guys know, I'm a TV news reporter, specifically a morning reporter, and that's where things get a little dicey because you get thrown into situations where you're just like, what's happening? Am I going to live? Am I going to not live? This is um, scary. So we're going to be going through four moments in my career that were honestly life-threatening. Okay, two of them truly were like, you could have died, and the other two, you're going to be like, Clancy, you're a wimp. We're gonna save the best for last. So the very first one, I was previewing a stunts show at a local amusement park called Kings Island in Ohio. And I went there thinking, oh, we're just gonna talk about the stunts they'll be doing this weekend, okay? I thought it was honestly gonna be boring. Not to be, just to be honest, honestly. So yeah, that was gonna be a boring morning. No, the ringmaster, as he's called, or the stunt guy came and he was like, hey, let's put you in. Let, let, let's do the stunts with you. And I was like, what? You could tell I had no idea. I was in a dress and heels. I had no idea there was anything that was going to be going on, but I learned quickly. Stunt number one, I stood in this like metal cage thing as a guy in a motorcycle rode around me, zipping across where guys, if I like, I was in a cage, so it, there was no platform for your, for your feet and I was in heels. If I lost my balance even just once, I literally would have died. I would have died. And Fox 45's Clancy Burke is joining us now from King's Here Island. Here we go. Oh, Look man. At her. Oh, She's my in goodness. the globe up here. Clancy, good morning. <laughs> Kristen Elise, I'm not often speechless, but right now I don't even know what to say. Ian, whenever he's ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, are you, he just does it. He just does it. We're going. Oh, yes. I just high five the motorcyclist. You are not dying. We're all living. I don't even know what to say. The scariest part about it was that the guy didn't speak English, so I, I, I'm not like saying that in a mean way, but it's like I couldn't communicate with him, like, do not kill me. Please make sure I live at the end of all of this. And those were some key things I really definitely wanted to communicate, but I couldn't. Uh, I ended up living, but the scariest thing, or the, not the scariest thing, but like the craziest thing is then trying to do a live shot during this and trying to act normal and like speak. I, I, I couldn't. Coming up, we're not done here with the, what are we, brave? We're brave, right, Dan? We're brave. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're not done with the bravery. So stay tuned on Fox 45 for now, though. Back to you guys. I survived. The next thing was that same day where I went up on this, I was strapped to the bottom of this string with this motorcycle on top, and the motorcycle was going to ride us up on this string where, guys, the bench I was sitting on was so thin, and not to mention, I was not strapped into anything. I was literally just sitting on this thin bench. Had I, you know, fallen off or slipped or whatever, I would have plummeted to my death because below us was this water that was just like a foot deep, and we went up high, and it was, it was scary, but it was so much fun. I mean, that's the thing about all of this is it's like, yeah, it's scary, but it's fun. Box 45's Clancy Burke is Here about she to do one of these stunts. Good Look morning, Clancy. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know what to say. I'm trying to think of all the decisions in my life that led me to here where I am right now, but I think I'm ready. We have Claudia who coached me through it. And of course, guys, we have Mario. Mario, are you ready? I'm ready. He's ready, guys. I don't know if I am, but yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're about to do it. We're like literally in the middle of almost doing it. Okay. It's happening. I can feel it. I, yep, the vibration. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. back there she performs in ways that I don't even know she's been doing the circus since she was born basically she kind of was just in the circus her parents owned it and oh my gosh I okay basically I'm like trying to talk right now but I can't because my heart is like beating through my chest because the thing is guys when I look down um yeah I just see this big drop that I'm not trying to do all right I'm trying to live and the thing is I didn't sign any waivers like if you were to do this like at an amusement park where I was like well you wouldn't because you're not a professional but they would give you waivers this was just hey News reporter, you up for this? Let's do it. And it was, it was cool. By the way, Kyle, we should have a, um, uh, a deal. If my dress comes up for whatever reason, you just pan to something else. Go to Mario. 
<laughs> I can't hear you! Shut up! <laughs> if your dress comes up, zoom in! This third one, I'm just gonna gloss over because you guys are gonna be like, Clancy, you're a baby, but when you see the pictures, you're gonna understand. This was me getting my flu shot. I got my very first flu shot ever at Live On Air. I was terrified because shots are my least favorite thing. And listen, listen, it's not needles. So blood tests, oh, those don't give me a problem at all. Like you put the thing in my, like it doesn't hurt. Blood tests just don't hurt me, except when one time they asked me if their student could prick me and do the blood test and it was, guys, she was prodding. This isn't working, this isn't working. Let's go into your hand. Like I was like, listen, just please find a vein and do this. Anyway, my first flu shot on air. It was scary. Good morning, Elise. You might be wondering why my sleeve is rolled up right now. Yes, I've been talking the talk all morning. It is time to walk that walk. I'm going to be getting my first flu shot of my entire life. I have Dr. Marnie as my support system. I have RN Michelle to do the thing. And uh, I think you should need to take it away. So I will ask Dr. Marnie. I'm actually really scared. I'll ask Dr. Marnie, why am I doing this? You know, why am I doing this? Listen, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your family. You can be brave, you can do this, and you're protecting, you know, everyone around you. Now see? It wasn't that it, bad. It's not it's that not bad. Bad. It's a little bit bad. Oh, this one? Really quickly, it's really not that crazy, but basically I was at a haunted house, didn't know a guy was about to pop out, listen to this, I would say scream, but it's really a screech. A little bit scary, especially when you can't see what's going on. But ah! Oh my gosh, no! Ah! This last one, guys. Drum roll, please. This, I, this was the scariest thing I've ever done on TV. One of the scariest things I've done, honestly, ever. The amount of terror that I had to do this, and I knew it was coming, was me riding a huge roller coaster at amusement park. So one thing you have to know about me is I've only been on a roller coaster once. I had one experience in 11th grade of high school, and it was just a bad experience. Like, it started out okay, so what happened was I went on, like, one of the biggest ones at the entire park, and it made me feel like I was dying. Like, that's truly what I remember feeling when you're dropping. I just, my body does not react well. Then I tried to go on another roller coaster after that, the same one Nick Jonas was on. Like, I was passing Nick Jonas, fun fact, as he was getting off and I was getting on. My friends were like, oh my god, it's Nick Jonas! And I didn't care, because I was like, I'm about to throw up. And I'm sorry, I'm realizing I was getting off the ride he was getting on. That's why I was about to throw up and I didn't care. I just have a really big fear of roller coasters. I don't enjoy them. Like, that's the thing. Like, I always felt really, not embarrassed, but I don't know, kind of when I was little, I was like, wow, I'm like, not cool. I'm really afraid of roller coasters. This is embarrassing. And I even pretended I liked them. Like, this is embarrassing. In fifth grade, we had to write an entire short story about our favorite thing in the entire world and like make a world out of it. So like, if you love stamps, stamp world. If you love mac and cheese, mac and cheese world. I made RC World, which stood for Roller Coaster World, where it was a world where the only way you get around was roller coasters, and I pretended I loved them. I remember my teacher being like, oh, like you love roller coasters? And I was like, yeah. Meanwhile, I'd never been on a roller coaster in my life at that point. So yeah, I, I don't like roller coasters, and then when it was announced that this roller coaster, one of the craziest ones at this amusement park near me was closing down, I was like, oh, okay, I'll cover it, but I didn't think they would put me on it. And then the day before, the PR person said, as long as the weather's okay, you're good to go, you know, you can ride this ride, Clancy. He probably thought I wanted to. I didn't. And it's about to happen. I'm literally about to take off on Firehog. I don't even know what to say. You guys will understand, like, I don't do this, but it's about to happen, so stay tuned. Thanks. So right now, without any further ado, I'm just gonna insert the clip. It, oh, I, this needs a backstory though. My photographer Kyle told me that you weren't gonna be able to hear my voice because the mics would go out of range. So I had no idea anyone could hear me. Not to mention, I tossed back to the studio and heard Nathan and Elise be like, oh, okay, good luck, Clancy. Not knowing, they decided to go back to me. So I tossed back before I rode the ride because I didn't want, I just didn't want that to be on camera but my producers went back to me. My screams and terror was on camera and I had no idea. At one point, guys, you're gonna hear me say, Claudia! I was talking to my producer who was in my ear on my IFB. I told her, please just, I know you have a show to produce, but please just talk to me and tell me I'm gonna live and be okay while I'm doing this. And she told me she would and she was great. She really, Claudia, shout out to you. But yeah, that was embarrassing when I found out this was all on TV. Guys. <laughs> I literally don't know what to say. I don't do this. I've only ever, I, I went on one roller coaster my entire life. 2011 was the year. I cried. I, I cried. But I know I'm here with Chad, who's been talking me through it. Chad, am I going to live? You're going to do just fine. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for you because Firewalk 
goes away this Sunday. It, it, it goes away this Sunday, so we, we have to. And like talking about like my chances of death and survival, like can we talk about that a little bit? Your chance of survival is 100%. No worries at all. Uh, we've got a good crew here. They're going to take good care of you this morning. They're going to take good care of me this morning because, um, oh guys, I literally went to Kings Island this summer. My mom rode the roller coasters. I sat on a bench by myself. Like, I literally sat on a bench and started, like, just doing things on my phone. Like, I, it was pathetic. All right, guys, I think we're ready for blast off. Ah! I don't know what to say. I, look at her. She's putting her hand up. That means it's getting real. All right, ready? I think I'm about to live. We're all living. No! 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I can feel the blood rushing to my head. That's not natural, is it? Is that normal or natural? I don't think so. I don't want to let Oh my gosh. I've done so many things uh, right in my life and now it's all going to be blown by this. Oh my gosh. No! What is happening? What's happening? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. We were just amused by what was going on right well, now. That's a way to end it. No, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> well, bye, Claire. She'll survive. She'll be back. Uh, we'll yeah. talk to her after she gets back, though. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad we don't have the audio of her riding the ride. I don't know if it'd be I good I was actually TV. thinking the same exact thing. <laughs> oh, apparently we're going back out right oh, now. Oh, okay. Claudia. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's just 60 seconds of fun, 60 seconds of fun, 60 seconds of fun. It's all gonna be fine. We're doing it for the world. We're doing it for the everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm literally the only human on this freaking ride. I am the only human. Oh my gosh, everyone does it, even six year olds. And I'm not even six, I'm older than that. I have so many things to be lucky for in my life. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Yep, we're all living. Oh my gosh, it's, is it even happening? Nothing's happening. Oh my gosh, we're all living, we're all living, we're all living, we're all living. I, what? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I'm <laughs> oh my god poor clients I, like i said before she was literally in here this morning pulling pictures she's like oh my gosh that's the ride i'm not going on that thing and then well we just saw all she Crazy did doesn't do roller coasters oh, that's, no. that's a legitimate well now she, she does. does yeah she does now oh my gosh i'm crying If I don't die and throw up, but like that was awesome. <sighs> Thank you so much for your support, guys. And Fox 45's Clancy Burke joins us live there oh, now. She survived. just rode. We heard her screaming, <laughs> and we had our finger on the dump button just in case just she in case. just in case she swore there. But you held out pretty good there, you Clancy. Did a good job, <laughs> guys. I did it. I rode Firehawk. Like I, I rode it. Like I literally, I can't. You don't. I feel like to anyone who just doesn't understand, like this, this doesn't just happen, but today it did. Because Kings Island is one of my favorite parks, and this was just the last time that anyone can ride it. So obviously, I had to. And guys, look, I am living. I don't know if I'm, I, I literally don't know what that was, but I feel like a whole new human. And guys, it's not because of me. It is really all thanks to Chad here at Kings Island and the entire crew. You really coached me through. But seriously, guys, come out. I, I'm just like, this is like, Accelerating. Okay, I'm sorry, but back to you guys in the studio. I don't know. Like, I seriously think, like, if it's for my job, I will do anything. Skydiving. I mean, that's one thing I don't know if I can ever do. Like, that's just not me. I'm just not a skydiver. Okay. If it's for the news, if it's for the good of the job, I will seriously do anything. And I hope you guys really, after this video, get a perspective that I truly am such a brave soul. I'm obviously kidding. I'm a baby and a wimp. 
it's embarrassing. But um, yeah, obviously my job is a lot of fun and I do weird, crazy things. Some of them I'm terrified for where I could feel my heart beating out of my chest. Others, you know, are a little bit more chill. But yeah, if you want to see all these crazy things when they're happening in real time, you can follow my social media. So I have Instagram, which I love, Twitter, and Facebook, which will all be linked down below, um, where I basically just keep you guys up to date on the crazy, weird, scary, keyword scary, things that I'm doing. But thank you guys so much for watching this little video. I just thought it'd be funny to show you a couple of weird things, um, and I hope it was maybe a little entertaining. So talk to you guys later.